Hello and welcome to Raw History, a low DC dive into D&D for the ages. I'm your host, Sammy. And I'm your host, Alex. Hello, welcome to what might be what? a <laughs> weird a weird episode. A weird one. <laughs> We, you might have got some hints from the last episode what this episode might be about. Yeah, when we outright stated what it would be. <laughs> but today, the new friend that everyone made last session, last episode, last, yep. last episode <laughs> is going out and tumbling into an adventure in a raft. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your cool dm cool dm friend i I'll mean you're normally the... a very good dm so. yeah but this time i'm running basic and um <laughs> it's not is it basic or is it original oh original yeah original <laughs> there was a version that i worse. think came out as part of basic letter i've got some notes on that because uh we're still a history show hmm. we're just gonna do some um some in-person live action yeah it's like one of those history shows where they're like oh we're going to tell you about history Here's a five-minute segment where we've paid some actors to pretend to be Romans. Sort of like horrible histories. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What it's like. Mm-hmm. The Diplodocus nah. was a big dinosaur. And here he is now behind me. Whoa. Look at his big Look legs. Look at this dinosaur. Dinosaurs are definitely real, kids. But just Wait, dead. No, no. <laughs> that makes you sound like a creationist. <laughs> Fossils were put in the ground to trick us. They were. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Have you not seen Good Omen? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, imagine Sabaths is off out on an adventure. But before we start the adventure, we're going to talk about the we need adventure. To do a little bit of, we need to do a bit of talking about the adventure. We need to do a little bit of prep work, and then we can just get right in. I've no idea whether this is going to be a, a two-parter, a really long one. <laughs> Who knows? Wow. Four-parter. Four parts. Six parts. Six. This is getting... <laughs> This is, ten getting, part. this is getting out of hand. Now it's there are ten of them. all the way no. down. <laughs> I don't make any notes. On oh. the, all the notes are on my laptop as well, which is far away. <laughs> I think that's fine. You stretch your neck a bit. Like mm. a diplodocus. Diplodoci are not like, you know, the, film, the, the theme of our episode. And yet, <laughs> that's all I'm going to talk about. So, Temple of the Frog was the second half of the Blackmore supplement. Supplement 2. It was released in 1975 by T- TSR, the company. Tor, tor, oh no, I'm trying to remember what they're actually called. T- t- table system rules? <laughs> well, one out of three is not bad. <laughs> t- tactics. Close, nearly. Suffering. suffering. <laughs> tactics. Suffering. Tactical... Symbiotic studies. <laughs> studies. We do a fucking podcast on this. Yeah, but it's been a while since I've done any of the. It's been a while since I've done the timeline episode. I try and forget all that political jazz. It's not political, but you know, into political. So Blackmore, <laughs> Blackmore introduced the monk because there was a kung fu movie craze going on at the time, and uh, TSR wanted to capitalize on that, much like how Five uh, E D and D just introduced. The what's popular now? I'm I'm out of touch. I, I'm out of touch. I'm out. I'm out of touch. It's not even Thursday. Sorry. Um, I think everyone likes TikTok. I don't know. Yeah. So the TikTok class <laughs> uh, or Chronomancer. <laughs> so yeah, it had the monk, and it also had the assassin, who was a thief oh, subclass. Assassin. But it also had rules for underwater combat, and it also oh also God. had an adventure called Temple of the Frog. It didn't Ooh. really have like a plot. It, it was something that oh. Dave Arneson sent to Gary and was just like, here you go, Gary, you can use this. And Gary looks at it and is like, I, I, I guess I better publish it then, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, this was like the first published adventure as well, wasn't it? Was it was indeed. It wasn't the first created one because there was oh, no, an no. earlier version of Tomb of Horrors that saw tournament play. But this is the first officially published one. Mm. And uh, it kind of did set the standard for a lot of things. Uh, it opens up with a bit of history and uh, like the background of the Temple of the Frog. Oh, um, a bit of history, you say? And then uh, kind of just describes the area as a big sandbox for your players to run about and steal things from. Oh, specifically stealing things. There's a lot of, this gem is worth 1,000 GP. Oh, okay. It's, it's original D&D. Okay, well, maybe Imagine's a bit of a treasure hunter. Oh, maybe, yeah. There's a bit at the end of it that's like, uh, the treasure... This is it, lads, or whatever it fucking says. I can't. <laughs> this is the big one. I think that's it, yeah. The, the one you've all been waiting for. <laughs> but listen, 
the real reason that I've not made very good notes and I'm not really describing it very well is so that everyone can be like, when's Sammy going to be doing the informative part <laughs> again uh, to get everyone excited for that? That's my reason. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm going to read some stuff about the background for okay. you. Okay, 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 okay. And then we'll talk about your c- cool character. My cool character. Deep in the primeval swamps of Lake Gloomy. <laughs> Sorry. It's, no, it's just the word gloomy. It's got an E. Oh, right. Oh, well, that's fine then. <laughs> <laughs> so deep in the primeval swamps of Lake Gloomy lies the city of the Brothers of the Swamp. What? Of the rise of the planet of the apes. So the... It's, it's the, the city, city of the of Brothers, the brothers of, the of the Swamp. Yep. Why do they put a city in a swamp? I mean, just as a starting that's point. where that's all the bad. brothers were. I just, they should have gone somewhere a bit drier, I think. This is just some advice for them in the future. <laughs> if I was a brother of the swamp, I would simply leave the swamp. Well, they're only brothers of the swamp because they're in the swamp, right? For years past, <laughs> this religious order has... Oh, okay. oh they're religious nuts. That's they're religious, right. that's it, yeah. They're religious. They're re- religious. religious. I don't know why I said it like that. They've delved into the forbidden areas of study. Yeah? They <laughs> don't like them. Um... <laughs> No, I couldn't think of anything. Sorry. It's, they've not delved into forbidden areas. They're the forbidden areas. You know, the ones, the official the forbidden official ones. The official forbidden areas. I don't know who forbode it. Forbade it? Forbo- forba- forbidden. Forbode. Forbidden. 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 Anyway, they've delved into the forbidden areas of study and okay. determined... Sorry. <laughs> they've delved into the... Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. You distract me by punching yourself <laughs> in the face. Um... <laughs> They've delved into the forbidden areas of study and determined that animals have more potential to populate the world than man, (laughs) who was, after all, a biological abomination that would ultimately threaten the existence of all life. You know, that's a direct thing from the... Well, the you know part I added, but the rest of that... I guess. Yeah, man is not an animal. He's a biological abomination. Okay. We've determined it from the forbidden... Animals should just populate the air. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's their plan. Make all animals animals. Oh no. Yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> the uh, the super swamp bros begin developing a str- <laughs> they began developing a strain of amphibians okay. that would combine the worst ferocity and killer instincts <laughs> of larger mammals. Yeah, because that's what I think of when I look at a frog. Killer fucking instinct. Yeah, well no, because they've got when you look at a large mammal. <laughs> Combined <laughs> combined with the ability to move through swamps with great swiftness to strike and avoid retaliation. Well, that only works in the swamp. That's not the whole earth. I have added that to my notes as well, yeah. They don't have anything in mind for if there were humans to kill that, that weren't in a swamp. <laughs> they just assume everyone's in a swamp because they're in a swamp. Yeah, they're like, oh, we've oh. gone to these desert regions and... Oh, shit. Oh, well, our frogs are dead. No swamps here. Oh, who dried up all these frogs? <laughs> a tour. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, so in terms of like an evil plan, they're not doing great so far. It's not the best plan. No. I've ever heard. <laughs> um, so we're ignoring that though. Okay. Giant okay, okay. killer frogs, yeah? Okay, giant killer frogs. Almost two feet in length. Oh my god. Razor sharp teeth. Talons. Frogs have teeth? The, these ones do. Oh, it's not pleasant. I'm sure we covered about frogs having teeth before, didn't we? Oh, were we talking with we were talking with Adam about it, and they've yeah. got two little special teeth. Oh, they've got two little special some special teeth. teeth at the front. Anyway, <laughs> these frogs have more than two teeth. I assume. For years, the bros hewed out a sort of frog farm underneath <laughs> the temple, and like they chucked loads of sacrificial victims in to feed the frogs. They've got a big statue of a big silver frog at the front, and it's okay. got a hole at its feet. And Why they are just... they so obsessed with frog? Why is frog specifically? It's a frog based economy. Like alligators. What do you mean? Well, I mean alligator is no. Is it crocodiles? Crocodiles live in swamps. No, it's no, frogs. It alligators it's that frogs live that live in swamps. One, one, either a crocodile or an alligator. They live in swamps and they're bigger and have bigger teeth. And I mean, they're probably more deadly. Than... If you want a really ferocious animal that's got the ferocity of a big mammal and killing instinct and lives in a swamp, just use a fucking these. hippo. Oh, Displace hippo. a bit. Because they were in swim, swim, swims. <laughs> swims. <laughs> swims and swamps. <laughs> swims and swamps. <laughs> No, a hippo, yeah, damn. That's going to be much scarier. Yeah. Hippos are fucking terrifying. And this is coming from someone who likes hippos. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens. Ooh. Ooh. A special order evolved to tend the beasts in the depths of the temple called the Keepers of the Frogs. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Brothers of the Swamp. <laughs> right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you guys look after the frogs. Yeah, oh, you've made your own little special sex. 
Oh well, we'll call you a uh, uh, keep keepers of the. What do we call these frogs? guys that keep the frogs? Keepers of the frogs. Yeah, done. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go to pub. Let's go to pub. The swamp pub. <laughs> the swamp pub. Right, right. Keepers of the oh frogs, my. not okay. the brothers okay. of the swamp. Yeah. Okay. 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 These okay. devoted fellows have become so separated <laughs> from the main order as to develop a completely different outlook on their duty from that intended. Their original. Oh, so they- they don't want to kill everyone anymore. They just no. They still to... do. Right, right. Just let me. Go. <laughs> their original the use of the word fellows. Their original high regard for their charges <laughs> had, by continued close contact, developed into disdain and hostility towards them. They hate the frogs. They hate the frogs. They, they hate keep the... the frogs. They keep the frogs. They can't hate the frogs. The frogs are their babies. I've been around these frogs too long. I hate them. Can't fucking stand these frogs. Oh. What, what else am I going to do though? What nasty fellows. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, this was increased when only those brothers who failed in their duty were assigned to be keepers, ostensibly to redeem themselves, sort of like getting kicked off Prince of Egypt and assigned to work on Shrek. Uh, You know how that would work, except Shrek is a frog, a thousand frogs that want to eat you. (laughs) But also you hate them. And also you hate them. (laughs) Oh, no, because you probably start by loving them because you're like, I am just a guy from the swamp and I love frogs. And then you become a keeper of the frogs and you're like, I hate these fucking slimy guys. No, I hate the frogs. <laughs> so, Is it like a gradual thing or as soon as you, you get the new name you badge? Flip a switch. <laughs> oh, and uh, don't forget, you hate frogs now. What? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah, I do hate frogs. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Uh, but the keepers don't want to leave even though they hate the frogs. What? Because... That would make coming back difficult because of all the frogs being here. <laughs> That's the reason given. <laughs> anyway, oh, right, so... Oh, I can't leave this swamp because <laughs> I hate the frogs. Because I hate the frogs and it'd be too hard to come back. And I Why can't would I come want back? to come back <laughs> if I hate the frogs and I... <laughs> I won't leave because when I come back, it'll be shit. I think... Anyway, right, right. Since the keepers have been doing a shit job of making the frogs bigger and more of them... Because oh, they hate them. As we covered, they hate the frogs. <laughs> the brothers oh, above ground have been trying to like, sort of take the initiative, yeah? Wait, so these keeper guys, they don't even get to go outside. They just have to stay with the frogs forever. No, yeah, the keepers They're do. The brothers, the, the, bro- brothers can. the brothers can. The brothers get to go to the pub and do whatever. And then yeah, yeah, the yeah. frog guy. No wonder they hate the frogs. Well, that's it, I yeah. I misjudged them. I thought they were just <laughs> these, judging. These guys are cool, actually. No, they're still not fellows. Um... <laughs> The brothers above ground, they've mm-hmm. been trying to raise funds so that they can buy more <laughs> slaves to sacrifice to the frogs oh. by trading handicrafts and medicines <laughs> with the outside world. <gasps> and the traders disguise themselves saying, nah, I'm, I'm not a swamp brother, to try and keep the temple's location secret. Oh, yeah? the but big it's not, giant temple. It's not a very good plan because it's difficult to trade with a place when all the people from it insist that they're from somewhere else. Because that makes it difficult to establish the brand, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, a hundred years ago, the order entered into contracts with those who were outside the law. <laughs> so they hire bandits. Okay. And they say, you can live in the temple in return for acquiring goods and sacrifices for the temple, yeah? And all the bandits are like, yeah, cool. Do we have to, do we have to like frogs? And the temple's like, we'd prefer it if you did, but, but no. So all the bandits are like, well, we know where the temple is now. We're not very loyal. Uh-oh. Huh. That's Uh-oh. fun, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, very few of the bandits particularly like frogs. That's shame on them. Shame <laughs> on them. Are they keepers? So no. The, the raiders came to dominate the non-religious life in the community in a quite unholy manner. Oh, my. Making them virtually a separate power in the realm of the order. Oh, my. So that's the history. Oh, okay. That's where we're up to. Some other things have happened. Okay, 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 okay. And there's quite quite a big fucking twist. Ooh. In the past few years. Okay, okay. okay someone okay, okay. new has come to the Temple of the oh, Frog. Is it, oh, is it Majin? No, it's before Majin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you won't be able to find that out just yet. Oh. Because I cannot cover it beforehand because... Uh, Otherwise we, we just won't play. We need to find it through the story. <laughs> you know, we got to do this. What's the story though? Like, why am I going? Is there like a hook? So the hook was at the end of our last episode. You've just come off your boat after oh. a couple of adventures. Oh, yeah? there wasn't one like written into the adventure or anything. No, there there's wasn't... no plot. It's just the, okay, the later version through. that was was released separately as, as its own whole thing. Uh, was it DA2? Temple of the Frog was later re-released in 1986. Mm-hmm. 
And in that, the player characters have to rescue a captive princess oh, oh, oh. from the Temple of the Frog. Oh, rescuing a princess from a big frog monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound familiar? No. I guess he's more of a lizard monster, but... Mario? Koopa? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, a frog and a lizard aren't that different. I think this predates that. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, I've broken Alex. <gasps> it's fine. Um, we don't have a hook. You've just turned up. Oh, okay. I've just turned up. I'm There's nothing provided in the thing because we're not using the 1986 version. <laughs> we're using the 1975 version uh, before plots were invented. <laughs> I just so that, see a building. I've got to go in and make sure there's no treasure left for anyone. That's pretty much it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but speaking of treasure and things, we decided oh, yes. that Imagine Sabbaths would have a, a tough time as a level one magic user yeah. in this Temple of Frog. <laughs> yeah, so we decided uh, to make a hit point. Yeah, with your three hit points. Mm-hmm. So we decided to make you a level three magic user. So now I'm a conjurer. Ooh. <laughs> so you've just rolled, you got one additional hit die. Yeah, so, I rolled a one on my dice, so that's good. <laughs> That's great. That's what you want when you have three hit points, just one extra hit point. You know, you've got four hit points. Now I have four hit points. Good. But we also decided as well, she's just been through a big old cave after a couple of expeditions. Yeah. And it was original D&D, so a lot of it was about finding treasure. So she must have found some treasure. I must have. So what items... We're going to give you We're going to give you two items. We're going to mm. give you a weapon and another item, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, like, yeah, what have you grabbed for your random item? My random item, I grabbed a ring of regeneration. Okay, so mm-hmm. that... That gives me... Uh, it lets me heal a hit point. <laughs> okay, okay. That that will be handy for someone with And also, I cannot die. <laughs> what? I can't die. You can't die. <laughs> I mean, technically, in the rules, I think it like basically means I just get regenerated. Um, Even after death. Unless <laughs> unless you treat me like a troll, I think was the words. I, I should have written I'm gonna, down, really. I'm going to look this up. Yeah. <laughs> unless I treat you as a troll. Yeah. And I'm like, don't you be treating me Ring, like a troll. Ring of regeneration. The wearer will recover damage at the rate of one point per turn. Remember, a turn in original D&D is ten minutes. Mm. Even if he is killed, he will regenerate and live again, unless treated as a troll and destroyed as explained thereunder. So if you take fire damage. Oh, right, 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 right. Be careful for fire damage. I, I don't think there's anything in a swamp. Flame frog. frog. It's yeah, you're be probably be right. But yeah, so hopefully. Okay, that's exciting. That's, that's really useful as well. That'll help us explore the place. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. What a good pick. And then we were looking at the rules, weren't we, for um, for elves? So yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the uh, fully errated version of elves in original D&D, sort of around the time of the basic set coming out, where instead of it being like, oh, today you're a magic user, but tomorrow you might be a fighting man. But uh, you can't be both. Can't be both. And it can't overlap. They later uh, updated it saying, hey, elves are both at the same time. They can cast spells, but they can also wield all the items like a fighting man they just level up in both equally so progress half as quickly as all your other characters and that was added later and we're like let's let's do a bit of that just for a bit more versatility so Mm. she's gonna get a magic sword yeah i'm gonna get a magic sword and we're gonna roll it on the podcast we're gonna roll it on the podcast you have to roll for swords okay so among magic weaponry, swords alone possessed certain human and superhuman attributes. Superhuman! So swords have an alignment. Oh my god, okay. Can I you have roll, an alignment too. Can you roll a d100? I can indeed. On a oh, one... my new shiny dice that I bought from Mansion. They're a frosted teal, you know, for that ooh, ooh, ooh. vintage. So on a 1 to 65, the sword is lawful. On a 66 to 90, the sword is neutral. And on a 91 to 100, the sword is chaotic. I got 11. That's a lawful sword. Lawful sword. Okay. Okay, so as you pick it up, you take damage, because it's not the same alignment as you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously. Yeah. Does the sword kill me? You take ten points of damage. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Were you already wearing your ring? Yes. Yeah, you're fine. It's not fire damage. do <laughs> I'm back. I'm going to make a jingle for, like, here's the... Uh, Imagine's the Imagine re- Resurrection jingle. <laughs> okay, can you roll? Wait, does it take? Do I take damage every time I use it? Or no, it's just when you pick it oh, up. Oh, thank fucking god! Yeah, can you roll two d six for me? On a one to six, it's got no mental powers. I got a six. It's got no mental powers. That's probably for the best. 
I don't want a sassy sword. <laughs> Uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't have any powers, it's just a fucking sword. Oh. What? Can you not have, like, some power? Well, if you roll higher than a six. That's not fair. It doesn't need to be sentient to have powers. Do you okay. want to re-roll it? No, it's been not. It and get... Well, that this is just a regular sword, then. <laughs> a magic sword. Well, then fucking re-roll! <laughs> there we go, I got fucking twelve. Twelve? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Wow, first try. <laughs> it's got three primary powers and the okay. ability to use languages. I don't, why does it have to talk? Why can't it just be a it's magical sword? It's a talking sword. sword, right? Why can't it just be a, a magical sword? Why are you talking magical? Sorry, sword? wait a minute. Uh, I lied. Okay. Uh, it's actually a telepathic sword. Oh, that's worse. Uh, so it's got three primary powers and oh. the ability to use languages, okay. but with telepathy. It can also read magic and... It also has one extraordinary ability. Ooh. So uh, let's roll some primary okay. powers. You're okay. going to have to make a note of these because okay. I'll forget. Oh, shit. One sec. Let me load up my notes. This is silly. <laughs> We're just oh, giving you a sword. fucking... Okay. Okay. What am oh, I rolling? Okay. So uh, it's going to be a D100. D100. But you're going to be doing it three times. Okay. So the first one is 65. Oh, no. Sorry. 95. It can detect the gems, detect. number and size. Gems, number, and size. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's a good treasure hunting sword. That's pretty then. good, yeah. Uh, 18. It can detect sloping passages. <laughs> so can I have a walk up on <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you put the sword down, the sword is round. If it rolls down the slope, <laughs> it's a sort of slope detection. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, third roll. Uh, 22. It can detect sloping passages. Oh. No, I get to re-roll that then. I'm not having to. <laughs> okay. This is my game now. <laughs> uh, 85. It can detect magic. That's handy. That is handy. Just all the time or do I have to tell it? It's got the power to detect magic. <laughs> okay. And then you get one extraordinary ability. So okay. that's another D100. Okay. okay. Ah! Five. Clear audience. Does that mean I can just hear things? It can listen to other rooms. That sucks. <laughs> Special power, I can listen. Or well, is that like listening in on different... That could be good for like, you know, if there's evil people. Yeah, that's true. What, what happens if I... Like, do I need... What dice do I roll when I hit people with it? Oh, rolling the same ability twice indicates that it's twice normal strength. Oh, fuck off now. So it'd just be really good at finding slopes, eh? Well, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the sword has got good intelligence. We need to do its egoism as well. Oh my god, really? Egoism ranges from 1 to 12. The higher the number, the greater the ego of the sword. So D12. D12. 1. It will lead its user past better weapons. <gasps> oh, so 1 is like the most egoistic. No. Oh. Oh, this is just how normal. Okay. Uh, like, if you got a 4, it would surrender itself to a creature or a character of a lower level in order to exercise greater control over its user. What? Fuck? Uh, at a five, it'll require a share of captured treasure to be given to it <laughs> in the form of better scabbards and getting bejazzled and stuff. Oh my god, bejazzled. Yeah, that's like, when you oh, put see, be, yeah, when you put it, gems on it. This is a bit of a shit sword, isn't it? It's not it? very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I can't complain because it's better than the dagger that Gary gave me. I wouldn't say that was very lawful. Um, hmm. How can a magic sword be anything but lawful? Because it just has to tell me, don't, you know, it just has to do what I say. That's not a lot. Mm. I mean, law is just following what someone says. No, it isn't. <laughs> I mean, it is in the real world, but so I guess we're beginning. Okay, okay. So imagine you climb out of your raft and... Uh, and fold it back up. And fold it back up. Put it in my back... My, my, my back sack? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. my back pack. <laughs> <laughs> you pack up your boat. You're in the middle of the swamp. This is a fucking mess. I haven't prepared this at all. <laughs> so yeah, you fold up your raft. Little raft, yes. Little boat type thing. Yeah. You've actually come down the river and mm -hmm. stepped out onto a dock. Okay, okay. The dock is kind of... It's not the most fancy dock in the world. Okay. There's other boats that are kind of coming and going. And there is And general... none of them are collapsible, so I judge them. <laughs> They're all a lot bigger, and they've got, like, sails and things. It's a big, wide river. 
Uh, a bell rings Ooh. as, uh, you know, some boats come and go. Uh, and there are dock workers that are kind of like eyeing you, but not really treating you with that much suspicion, I okay, guess. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's not necessarily that they think you're supposed to be there, but more they don't really care. It's kind of like that's falling probably into better than, than maybe them paying me too much attention. Mm, mm. So uh, you've come at these docks. There's a map which we'll post on the Instagram. And you've come in at kind of the area seven. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So what do you want to do? Um, Have I heard any rumours about this town? Like, would I know the town? Is there a big sign saying, hi, we're the town of whatever it was? No frogs here. Uh, Actually, there is, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, It says, welcome to the gloomy swamp. Oh. This is the city. What's the opposite of a frog? <laughs> um, A man. <laughs> <laughs> the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Welcome to the city of... Wasn't it like the city of brothers and... Of swamp? No, 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 no. It's called... No, but that's not what the sign says. (laughs) Sorry, 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 sorry. The sign says, welcome to the city of Gorth. Oh, okay. And then the town's motto is, no frogs here. You were right. How did you guess it? Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. And then there's a flag. Oh, okay. Uh, The flag's got a frog on. Bit weird. There's no frogs here. There's no frogs here. Oh, imagine suspicious. Her uh, adventure sense is tingling. There is a footnote on the sign that says, apart from on her flag. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Um, I guess maybe I'll resupply. I'll, you know, do some digging you know, in the and, town. Okay. So you're okay. heading to the town? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll see if there's any, like, merchants. Uh, okay. See if anyone's got any, like, leads on... on Check for merch. Treasure. Okay. Check for merch. Yeah. The southern part of the city, which contains many small wooden structures built at (laughs) random throughout the area, uh, these range as high as 20 feet. Although they could be higher, there's a law saying that they can't be higher than the walls. Oh, okay. In case of people with grappling hooks, I guess. I don't really know what that's... (laughs) Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I decided how tall Majin was. Oh, how tall is Majin? Six foot four. She's fucking bayonetta. Because... Because we read a thing about how elves are five feet plus. Oh, yeah. It's and I'm like, elves, tall elf. They're, they're from five feet tall. And it's like, there's no upper limit on that. So she could be 19 feet tall. <laughs> Hello, Doc Walkers. Is that going to be her character have, voice? She'd have to have a really big raft for that. <laughs> Here's my longboat, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just because, you know, like most elves are actually quite short in D&D, uh, unless you're like more Tolkien-esque, which I think original D&D will be more Oh, very about, much, yeah. You know, all them Tolkens. So. Well, that's the thing, like, it kind of became tolkien later on, but there's a lot of like pulp aspects. There's a lot of like, you know, like how in the Barrier Peaks, there's like a crashed spaceship and all really stupid stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like a random encounters table in the wilderness uh, bit of the first box that's like, Martian desert encounters. <laughs> you know, just for that pulp feeling. <laughs> I just meant that, like, because um, Tolkien made elves tall. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, elves are tall and glamorous. And mm, obviously, yeah, that's elegant. that's going to be, we're in, a, we're in a temple full of frogs. I mean, like, I mean we're not, yeah. you're not going to be going to Mars. Imagine isn't, isn't very elegant either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Okay. Some 200 people eke out existence here. Mostly okay. dock workers and... Uh, they work the docks, yes. Semi-skilled artisans. Ooh, I'm a semi-skilled artisan. <laughs> the bulk of the community is devoted to the service of the temple. They all love the, the temple. Oh. Apart from the ones that don't, I guess. Okay, so maybe I can ask some people about the temple, if yeah, everyone's there's, uh, talking about the temple. Radiants and merchants from the outpost come here to celebrate their success as well. So there's a couple of pubs. and, Ooh, right, and okay, uh, okay, 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 You okay. can actually see a couple of groups of people like carousing. It's all men. Oh, of course. But that's just because it's uh, original D&D. <laughs> there's little in the way of practical industry beyond serving basic needs. Okay, well, I have basic needs. The latter being doled out by the temple on a weekly basis. Oh, what basic needs? The basic needs are doled out by the temple on a weekly <laughs> basis, you know. Every week, the temple comes to the, your house and helps you do a poo. <laughs> you only do a poo once a week? Well, uh, yeah, but, but I'd do it more if the temple would come around more. Where do you want to oh, go? No. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to find an, an artisan. Okay. That sounds all right. I'm going to avoid the pubs for now. Like, I'll go there if I can't find any other leads, but like, maybe there's someone who works with like jewellery or metal or gems and I can get like a a lead on, you know, where I can find some metal and gems okay. of the treasure variety. So you head to a uh, pretty much the first 
business that you see that mm. isn't just for carousing and things. And it's called Fagin and Smagin's Special Gems. Ooh, Fagin and Smagin's Special Gems. There's a sign outside that says, no frogs here. <laughs> So is the temple secret or do they still talk about the temple? Do you want to look at the temple? You can see it from where you are. Oh, I can see the temple. Yeah, I'd like... Oh, I was going to be like, should I roll perception? But You can't roll perception. What do you think this perception. is? You either see it or you don't. Oh, okay. The DM decides. Oh, I don't like having, having my fate in your hands. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. What's it? What does it look like, DM? Sort of like a big frog. <laughs> is it the shape of a frog? Yeah, it's, it's shaped like a big frog. It's shaped like a big frog. <laughs> A oh, temple looks like a shrub. Damn, damn, they really like frogs here. <laughs> Even though they don't have any frogs here. Oh, that's here weird. in the city of Gorf. I'm super suspicious of these weirdos. Weird choice. Why is that a weird choice? To be suspicious of these weirdos. <laughs> anyway, so you head into Fagin and Smagin's. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, and behind the counter, there's like a sort of middle-aged man. Okay. He's got a big curly moustache. Ooh, okay. He's wearing, he's wearing a waistcoat mm-hmm. and uh, he's kind of polishing a gem. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, Ooh. He's got red hair. He looks up and he says, Now, nah, welcome to Fagging and Smeggings. Gems that we sell. Would you like to buy some gems for some reason? Oh, uh, no, I was actually, I'm, I'm new in town. And Awfully suspicious, that. Is it? Okay. Uh, well, um, I'm a, a traveling adventurer. I um, was hoping maybe you'd have some leads on where like, I could find gems that maybe you could purchase off me. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you have gems to sell, but for us to buy from you, us at the gem shop? I am I could basically cut out the middleman, and I'll get the gems for you. Making us the middleman? Yes. I mean, yes. Yes? I'll have to be, speak to my brother Smagan about it. <laughs> One moment, please. And he steps into the back room. <laughs> this is taking a weird... I didn't think this through. Yeah, why did you say... <laughs> Hello, welcome to the gem shop. No, I'm the gem shop, and you'll buy gems from me. We have them. I, I just mean, like, you know, I, I, do you have a source for gems? I will go and collect them for you. They, they presumably have a source for gems, being a gem shop. Yeah, so they got to tell me so I can go find some. Another man steps out. He's identical to the no, first man. No, He's dressed the same. Okay. He's holding the same gem. Oh. And he says, Smegan here. I'm told that you want to sell us some gems. I was just wondering if you uh, knew any uh, treasure locations in this town. I haven't been here before. It's my first time here. Well, the only treasure that I know of is the stuff in my counter here. Don't steal that. There's probably a lot of treasure up in the Temple of the Frog. You can't miss it. It's shaped like a frog. Oh, okay. okay. Don't go in there, though. It's oh. very deadly. <laughs> and also, they come to my house once a week and help me poo. <laughs> You wouldn't want to take that away from me and my brother Fagin, would you? Uh, I think Rajin just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that noise wasn't me hitting my iPad. It was Foley work for the door closing. <laughs> I think I think Rajin sort of stands outside and she's like, Okay, so this town is full of freaks. Uh, we can still hear you. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm talking loudly. Okay. I guess I'm just going to head straight to the fucking temple then. Just straight there. Fuck it. Okay. I mean, some guy told me there was treasure there, so it's like, well, it's better than hanging out with these weirdos. Okay, so you, you pass through, like, the more built-up area. I guess, like, I'll stop and maybe buy some food and stuff. You know, logical shit like that. Yeah, yeah, That's there's uh, there's a couple of, like, uh, there's pubs and things that seem to do food as well. Uh, there's a Weatherspoons. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> hmm. So I say food. Oh, oh, got him. <laughs> There's like a couple of stands. There's somebody selling bread. Oh, um, yeah. Let's get some artisanal bread. Okay. You go to the thing. It just seems to be... The bread looks like rocks. And it's a young girl behind the counter. And she's like, Oh, hello, miss. You want to buy some bread? I made it myself. Why does it look like rocks? It's made with rocks. Oh. We don't have flour here. The temple comes by once a week and helps me poo. But it doesn't bring <laughs> any flour. So I'm making myself out of rocks. Okay, um, maybe I'll take a, a pass on that, but... Oh, keep up the good work. Well, you break it, you bought it, you know? I didn't break anything. She she punches a loaf of bread. She's just <laughs> like, made of rocks, so won't you just hurt oh, her? Oh, fuck you know. Oh, no, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt my hand. Please buy my hand. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy one bread. Buy my hand. <laughs> buy one Please. bread. Please. You buy one bread, that's... 
one copper piece. Oh, I'll give her two copper pieces. That's too much. Take two breads, please. No. It's like buying big issue. I'm leaving. you got to take it as well. No. I want to make my quota. No, I'm leaving. Where are you fucking going? <laughs> she, she, she jumps down. She follows you. Oh, She's my God. You. What do you think it's, this is? for your hands. What the fuck do you think this your is? Hand. I've got two hands, am I? You just broke one. Well, yeah, but I'll... Uh, she unscrews it and pulls it and drops oh. it. It was fake. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll That's have... my trick, I do. I'll have and it my gets me two back. copper from people. Right, well, why you, you got two copper, That's so... That's a nice sword you got there. What was his name? <laughs> Please don't make me name the sword. <laughs> name the sword, Najin. <laughs> my sword is called... What's my sword good at again? It can detect... It's good at detecting. Slope your knees. No. It's going to be called Detecto the Chopper. Fuck off! Oh, yeah, I've heard the legends about Detecto the Chopper. No, no you haven't. Oh, I it, literally just yeah, learned it now. Yeah, it's just a weapon that was forged at the same time. Choppo, the detector. And never the two shall meet. Otherwise, it'll open a wormhole. I remember the stories. When my old nan used to tell me and she said, oh, don't make bread out of rocks, I better go. Thank you. And she leaves. There, you've got more exposition and lore. Oh, good. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what Dave wanted. <laughs> he wanted rock bread and bad sword names. Yeah. You're heading up to the uh, the temple area. You do head through the guards reserve barracks. Oh, oh uh, okay. And they're all like sort of on alert to reinforce endangered areas of the town. Okay, 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 okay. You sort of like heading through it. It's, it's gotten a lot more organised. The um, rather than being a jumbled smattering of different mm. wooden structures, these are made of bricks, mm. and they're kind of like lined up properly in, in blocks rather than right, just right, scattered right. about. There's uh, like a sort of patrol of a few okay. people. Okay. And as you're sort of like heading closer towards the temple, you can see there's like some long walls, but you'll be going up through and then taking okay. a left. Okay. But a patrol of soldiers comes and sort of like stops and the leader uh, is a woman she's nearly as tall as you but you are six foot four but she's got broad shoulders she's got an eye patch oh oh i love a girl with an eye patch <laughs> and she uh she sort of marches up to you and she says um now what's all this then who are you oh hello i imagine sabbath my name is amaranth it's a pleasure to meet you amaranth. the juggernaut oh my god yes wow. and i run very quickly through a wall okay okay now, what are you doing here in this part of town? This is for the guards that do the temple when we're off duty and stuff. You don't look like a guard, even a new, new recruit or something like that? Oh, no, I'm here to go see the temple and give my... Just presence. to go have a look at it? Yes. You, you can't just go in. Oh, I was under the impression I could go in. Well, now you're not, because you can't. Leave. Oh, uh, no. What do you mean, no? I, I just think, you know, I'm already here. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. Just a quick pop and lock, you know? Just a quick pop and lock? Did you just challenge me to a breakdance fight? <laughs> I don't know what one of those is. Uh, well, we do, I do a little dance of blades, and then I break you at the end of it. Oh, okay. Well, that does sound fun. Maybe we'll pencil that in for later. From the way you're talking, I can see you like just sort of like trying to sidle past her. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. She pulls out an axe. Oh, oh, that's a very nice axe I'm you gonna have I'm going to need there. you to stop doing what you're doing now. Okay, well, uh, I don't really see why I can't go see the temple. I'm just, like, you know, a, an innocent little tourist. The, the reason you can't go and see the temple is because I'll bury an axe in your skull if you do. Oh, that seems rude. Yes, it's very rude! What are you talking about? <laughs> Leave! You can't just come through here. Okay, okay, message received. Eventually. <laughs> I guess I'll go try and find an alternative way in. Okay, so you're currently at a number one there. Okay, okay, okay. What's this bit? Number 10. Number 10? Let's have a look. Uh, you use your Claire audience through your sword to hear the description that the DM's saying about area number 10. <laughs> These are the temple gardens. They're a grass-covered promenade provided for the relaxation and enjoyment of the brothers. The trees are surrounded by low bushes, which are kept quite neatly trimmed. There's no <laughs> patrols or guards in this area except along the walls, and the brothers are free to enter and meditate whenever they wish. The two waterways that run through the garden are carefully screened at their inlets and outlets to keep out any dangerous creatures. The small bridges over the canals are made of wood and unable to bear the weight of more than a thousand pounds. The main cargoes to the temple are brought from the royal docks up the main thoroughfare every morning after dawn to the main gate, being escorted by the brothers along the entire route. Okay, 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 okay. And is this like a big dock going into the river? Yeah, the promenade leads directly onto the river. 
Okay, okay. I think what I'm going to try and do, I might have like a little scope around, but mm-hmm. my plan is to get back on my raft, mm-hmm. go up to the promenade, mm-hmm. collapse my raft, mm-hmm. cast invisibility on myself, and sneak my way in. Okay, okay. It seems a good plan. Oh, because I got some new spells because I'm level three. Yeah, there's a couple new spells. We forgot to mention that. <laughs> I have Charm Person, Sleep, Magic, Missile, which was in the Greyhawk extended Added in Greyhawk, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Invisibility. Okay, then. So you head back to the docks. There's the girl, you look, and she's got, got her breads, and she's like, she's got no hands now. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, keep hold of your hands. You, you go past Fagin and Smagin, mm-hmm. um, and like you have a glance through the window, and there's another customer talking, and you hear him being like, I'll just go and ask my brother, Smagin. And he goes in. Stands there for a second and then just comes back out. <laughs> I knew it. You knew it. Okay, you head back down to the dock. Okay. You okay. unfold your raft. You yeah. get into the water and then just sort of paddle I've upstream a little, a little I've bit. A little paddle, yeah. Yep. So you're going to be going a little bit more upstream. I don't know what I do. Oh, maybe I'm like a gondola with my big pole. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You move forward with your pole. You stick it on the thing. You do, something shifts and your Ooh. pole slips to the side. And you're like, oh, shit. And suddenly surfacing from the river around you oh, is no. a giant killer frog. Oh, fuck. What do you want to do? Oh, God. I don't know. Is it? Is it going for me? It seems to be disturbed by the pole poking it. Can I apologize? Can I give it some bread? The frogs do like human flesh. I know you're not human, but you're human adjacent. Yeah, but this bread has rocks in. Wait, you're going to give it bread? Yeah. Okay. By throwing it at it. By throwing it at the fro- Okay. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. I'm chaotic. I'm going to throw the nasty bread at it. I want you to make an attack, please. How do I do that? So that's a, a d20 roll. Okay, 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 okay. Hopefully I'll get to add lots of numbers to it. What? No. What? Well, that's a free. You launch your uh, solid loaf of bread. It sort of like <laughs> bounces off the frog's uh, juicy bits. It <laughs> doesn't seem to affect it. It opens its mouth and it's got big, big teeth. Ooh. And it's coming towards you. Oh, maybe I should climb inside and get it to take me into the temple. Let's see how that goes. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. That's my last resort. Um, can I hit it with my, my pole, It's maybe? the frog's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, that was an eight. Okay. And your armor class is nine, right? Yeah. Which means it needs to roll an 11 to hit you. Okay. So it goes and jumps down and goes and like sort of clamps down on the side of your raft. It doesn't hit you, but your raft is like sort of rapidly tilting a little Uh bit. It's your turn again. Okay, Um, I'm going to bash it with the pole. Okay, roll that shit. Is it just a d20? Yeah. Oh god. Oh, a 17, a 17! That's a hit. Um, Yeah, I'm going to basically like whap it out and be like... Like right, like overhead slam. Okay, okay, okay. Roll a d6. Ooh. That's your damage. One. There's like a squelch and the frog's like... Brrr, and Does his eyes pop out? Its eyes bulge a little bit and it lets go of your raft and it sort of like drifts away a little bit. Oh, I'm going to use this opportunity to fucking get away. You start trying to pedal. Yeah. Its tongue no. not, comes out towards oh. you. Let's see. No, no. That's a 16. That's Fuck. a hit. No, it's not time for me to die. One. <laughs> uh, the t- it goes right onto your shoulder and you're like, Ew. oh shit, it's pulling you backwards now though. Oh, no, no, uh, no. Your escape is Can being I use slowed. Can my dagger to like cut it? Yeah, yeah, roll it. Is that just another d20? Just another d20. Oh god, this is chaotic just having a d20. <laughs> oh, ten. That is not enough. You like sort of stick it into the tongue. You're trying to like saw through it, but it's just not enough to actually get Why through the thing. Why isn't this dagger that Gary gave me any good? <laughs> Frog gets an 11. That's oh, another hit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, I've only got three hit points left. So the tongue, like, yanks you backwards. It does four no! hit points of damage. And you are eaten by the frog. No! My first death. Oh. Fucking frogs. <laughs> but, There's luckily, a slight delay. A ring falls down into the frog's tummy. And then suddenly... Wait, am I in the frog's tummy now? You've reappeared inside the frog's oh, tummy. Do you want to roll? Do you want to roll an attack? That's not how that works. It's magic. I can do what I want. If you roll high enough. Thirteen. Okay. In thirteen, your sword is like. Hello, Sammy. Oh, oh. Uh, my name's not Sammy. Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, magic. It's Hello. me. Sorry, what I you gave you. Your I gave you a silly name before. What? Do you have a name? It's. Chomusuke. I'm going to call you Detecto then. Detecto. <laughs> draw me and escape this slimy boy. Okay. Uh, you I'll draw. draw my sword. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll damage? Okay. 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 
It's a five. It's a five. The frog's like feeling quite contented with itself. Um, <laughs> and it's like being, oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> but then uh, suddenly it's like, rubber. a sword comes out. Imagine emerges and the frog sure is hurt. John like, Hurt, <laughs> as as Majin emerges from its tummy and it dies, and Aww. you sort of like swim a little way, get back on your raft, and then appear at the uh, the garden bit. Mm-hmm. You fold up your raft. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. what do you do now? I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Because they said that there were patrols on the walls and there would be like brothers hanging out in the gardens, and I assume they're all going to try and put an axe in my head. You have a look up on the wall, and there's like a guard that's just like, "Did that frog just give birth? Oh well, it's the miracle of life." I love frogs. And he goes back about his business. Okay, okay, that's good then. You head up through the temple gardens. They're a grass-covered promenade provided for the relaxation and enjoyment of the brothers. The trees are surrounded by... Look, we already did this. I wish I wish I had a promenade full of trees to relax in that was provided by frogs. <laughs> that's for the brothers. What are you talking about? I could be a brother. So you cast a spell, you turn yourself invisible. Mm. That does mean I have used my... You have used your spell. second level spell. Invisibility seems to be indefinite until you cancel it or make an attack. Though. Yeah. So that's good. So that could be useful. That yeah. could be useful. Maybe I'll just go this whole thing not having to just... <laughs> <laughs> attack anything. You just see some shit, yeah. Okay. Uh, you head up through the promenade. Obviously, I'm still going to be sneaky. Like, right? I don't want to accidentally call anyone on the head. No I've such thing as perception pole. checks, so don't worry. Oh, God. Um, it makes me nervous. <laughs> but you head up towards the mouth of the big frog. You pass okay. a big silver statue of a frog in front of the frog oh. there's a hole at that frog's feet oh okay um, and that seems to lead down a pit of some kind oh i don't think i want to go in a pit though okay you head to the temple proper yeah i want to go to the temple proper i'm not going down a pit i've just been in a frog's tummy <laughs> so you come towards the main gate of the temple of the frog okay there are 30 men here on duty oh my god and there's a tower next to it as part of the gate there's 30 men in there off duty oh okay <laughs> are they having a lark or there's are an they, inner are they and outer resting? gate the gate's open at the moment okay, I think yeah, I can just that makes sneak. sense doesn't I can, it yeah I can just sneak through I think stuff's then. coming and going uh, oh actually no I lied to you the gate is closed oh entrance is only attained by order of the ruling brothers or the captain of the guard who must be present whenever the gate is opened having one of the two keys to release the oh, mechanism for fuck's sake right okay so it's just a big shut gate how, how tall was it again big it doesn't say the outer tower is 30 feet high, so I'm guessing the gate's like half that. Could I use my pole? To pole vault over to it. pole vault over it. Well, there's no such thing as an athletics check. So I guess you just succeed. Should I roll a d20? I should roll a d20. You should roll a d20. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'm invisible, I don't really want to break that so I can talk to people. That's fair. And I don't want to like go stealing keys and opening the door and making it really obvious. So I think if I can pull vault over it. Yeah, sorry, I'm just there's a bit about magic rings that's about four pages long in between the bits. <laughs> here. And then it talks about the main entrance. Okay. So you pull vault over the gate and you're yeah. like, wahoo, but you don't say that because that wouldn't be very stealthy, I mean, would it? I'm being quiet. You pass over there's a there's a, a guard atop the actual gate. Yeah. You pass just by him, uh, and then land on the other side, and the guard's like, the wind. <laughs> uh, so you've landed in the main sort of entryway of okay, the actual okay. Temple of the Frog, the ground floor. Ten temple guards, along with a member of the inner circle and an acolyte, are always on duty. Okay. So there's ten guys, and also an inner circle guy, and also an acolyte. They're just sort of there, hanging about. Are they just chatting? They're just there. Okay. Oh, they just stood there looking bored. During services, when the general public is admitted, there are 50 guards, with ten acolytes and two members of the circle. At night, big old doors are shut with machinery there's also thick walls okay 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 so is that like the main temple so i'm i think so i guess i just have to sneak past the guards and not not attract their attention yeah so you head into the main corridor and chapel okay okay there's stone pillars on either side there's priest things looks like a church kind of temple thing i find it really weird that they're like this weird order of like oh we want frogs to do stuff but we're going to have some traditional church decoration. There's pew space for 300 people. Oh my god. I thought they didn't want to let people... I thought they were supposed to be secret. I don't know. It's not really secret if you're letting people in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 300 people can listen to our sermon about frogs, even though we're supposed to be a secret order about frogs. Or is it just the, the underneath frogs that are secret? I guess, yeah. Like the, 
There's one outside, but that was just a regular frog, I guess. <laughs> so do you want to have a look around? Do you want to look for... Yeah, look for clues. Look for clues and things. I'm looking for treasure mostly. Okay. Like, I'm like, these these froggy weirdos better have some treasure. <laughs> can you roll a d20 for me then? Oh, I can roll a d20. Five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you're looking around. You can find some steps and things. Okay. Are they going up or down? They're not like fully... It's like a... Almost like a stage kind of thing, uh, like a, yeah, a yeah, dais. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Each of which is a two foot step. And uh, <laughs> as you're looking, the tiers are made of green stone, and the upper part, like there's a lot of gold leaf on Ooh. it. And there's like a fancy rug as well. And you do head towards it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a pit opens. Oh, fuck. And you fall down the pit. Seriously? Oh, was I supposed to look for traps? I guess, yeah. No. You're like, I want to look for treasure, but you didn't specify traps. Hello, I'm oh, old DM. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, That's no, how you they fell get down the you. Pit. That's how they get you. Also, behind the pit, there was a big tapestry that portrays the doom of man. You know. Anyway, as as Imagine's falling down a pit, let's take this moment to uh, have a word from our sponsor which in this case is Third Space Gaming. It's a shop in the UK and you can buy things from it and it's got all kinds of great things. They do 3D prints, they do books, they do trading cards, they do all kinds of stuff. And it's got a friendly and good community on Discord. It's got everything you need. You know what else you need though? It's a discount code. By going to checkout and using the code ROLLHISTORY, you can save 10% off your order and get something delivered to you. We just got the Bloodborne board game from there, which is very exciting. I need to paint some things. I need to learn how to play it. You know how it is. But they've sponsored a giveaway that we're doing, which is Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, the special cover. And you can enter that by going to our Twitter and following and retreating and all that. You know, all them things that you can do. And you know what? It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Just get yourself some some stuff from thirdspacegaming.co.uk and use the code Roll History at checkout to save 10% off. Wow. Anyway, Imagine's about to land, so we'll, we'll get, yeah, we're gonna get, yeah. Well, sploosh. <laughs> you knew there'd be sploosh at the bottom. I knew there'd be sploosh at the bottom. Imagine you fell for what felt like days, but was actually oh. only eight seconds. Oh, okay. That's better. And you landed with a loud splash in a medium depth pool okay 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 you sort okay. of like swim up to the surface you look around it's kind of dark but okay. your elf eyes have night vision and all oh that i do business. yeah i'm good at seeing things in or, the dark as original DD calls it infravision why why like dwarves they have infravision <laughs> okay that's what they're gonna go with and what do your elf eyes see i don't know what do my elf eyes see is it frogs by any chance it is indeed. Oh, there no. are an estimated 1,100 no. to 1,200 no. killer frogs here. What the fuck? That's too many frogs. That's a lot of frogs in here. I'm still invisible, though. You are still invisible. So a lot of frogs sort of like crowd in and you're like, oh, Jesus. And then they're all like, hmm. hmm. <laughs> well, it seemed like something fell into the water here, but... Were they a dog? Yes. Uh, Jeffrey, do you see anything here? Hmm. Unfortunately, as a frog, I don't have a nose. No, oh, yes, of course. Well, must swim away then, back to our eggs and things. <laughs> and you see them all swim away back to their eggs and things. Yeah. Uh, and then your sword is like, Yeah, that was me. I allowed you to communicate with the frogs. That's a secret power I have. No, it's not. No, it isn't. How did you know what they said then? So magical. I'm a conjurer. Detector. I can do many things also because the DM decided to make them talk. <laughs> It was funny, Detector. <laughs> Listen, Sammy, stop it. <laughs> I mean, uh, imagine. I Shit. guess I'll, is there any, like, um, can I see any, any exit routes? Any? <laughs> so there appears to be an island in the middle okay, of the water okay. that, that you're at, and then... I'm um, going to swim gently over that. Okay. Is swimming difficult for me because I have a fucking ball? Uh, Maybe I can strap that to my back for you a strap second. strap it to one of your legs, and it's like a big hindrance. <laughs> I'll pop it on my back and, like, just sort of slowly, like, kind of... You climb up onto the island. Mm. 
This is the island of the frog people. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who have been bred by the new rulers of the Temple of the Frog. What? To supply a more powerful force with which to subdue the world. What? What? They're like mermen, but not as good as uh, being in water. And they all have tridents and nets. They also... Don't really do much when you get on the island. Like because them, I'm invisible. One of them just sort of like sees someone splash out of the water, just like the vague shape of something damp, and it just goes, Sup? And then doesn't care anymore. Okay. Okay, um, okay, 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 okay. What, is there a picture of these? No, you don't get a picture. What do you think this is? D&D, any other edition? <laughs> oh my God, so okay. they act independently, tending to leave the frogs alone. Um, there's 240 frogmen. <gasps> Why is it but they just. They just stay on the island and they don't really care. What do they do all day? Sort of, just you know, frog things. Just jump about. You know. <laughs> so, so how do they further the temple's core? Ah, like, they're, you know, are they good there. at killing? Yeah, they're good at killing. Better than kill a frog? Yeah, much better. Yeah, they've got tridents and nets. Oh, and they just hang out waiting for the temple to be like, go attack. Yeah, it's important to get your ass, you know? Don't, okay. don't stretch yourself too thin. Okay, you know what, actually, thinking on that, maybe I'll sit down for a minute. Okay. You find some treasure. Ooh! <laughs> the big one, folks. What? This is where it said the big one, folks. We were talking about it before. It's just on the island. It's just on the island. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do you want to know what you find? No, no, time out, time out, okay. time out. Sorry, okay. So, so far this adventure has been like, oh, here's a city with this many people in. There you go. Yeah, all right. Here's a temple with this many guards in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. The only trap was a... a There's a, more traps. You just, you've, all, you've not been to that many rooms. You, you went to one room in the temple and there was a trap in it. There was more to the temple then, that we're probably not going to cover. <laughs> I just find it really ridiculous that it's mostly just like, here are 200 to 1,000 people. <laughs> no, like normally they'd attack you, oh. but you're invisible. Is this whole thing... Is this, is this a WoW dungeon? We just go through and things attack you. I mean, yeah. Oh my god. Do you know what you oh, found? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. found a girdle of frost giant strength. What? Is it fashionable at least? It's kind of tacky. Oh god, okay, well. i give you I the can... strength of a frost giant though. Yeah, I'll sell it later. Just put it on, it's got frost giant strength. I don't know what a frost giant is. It gives you, it makes your strength like 29 What's or some it, shit. Do, are, are these items labelled? Do I have to detect magic to know this? Actually, they're labelled. Oh, they're labelled. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I can't put it on, I've got like a cute outfit going on. <laughs> There's a potion of gaseous form. Oh, <laughs> Turns you into a gas. Oh, I see. This does kill you. Oh! It says poison next to it. I guess I should feed that to someone else then yeah, instead a, of drinking it myself. There's a map here. Okay. Okay, is it out of the um, whatever pit I'm in? No, it leads to a staff of withering uh, uh, what? in the main temple above. Oh, okay. Don't know why these guys have it. Yeah, why? Why do these Two happen? potions of water breathing. Oh, that could be handy, actually. One scroll mm -hmm. of one spell. Polymorph self. Ooh. That's your treasure. Oh, okay. You can scoop it all up and put it in your bag. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just see if the uh, if the frogmen notice. They don't. They the just... big one, folks! Are they just stupid? Uh, you do know that eight of the frogmen have double strength and hit point values. Oh, I see. They're just really buff. Like, they're, they're all jacked. Some of them are doing, like, push-ups <laughs> and things. Is that what they do all day? They just sit on this island, relaxing, and then working out? Eight of them work out, the others relax. Okay. Eight out of 240, was it? 220? Yeah, 240. Oh my god. Why are there so many? So what are you doing now? I just like, when you ran this in original times, did you have a party that could take on 240 frogmen? The idea was to either do an infiltration, kind of like what we're doing now, or play it as a full-scale war game. Uh, it wasn't really possible to do. A lot of the stuff in this module is written as if for chainmail as well. They don't say they have hit points. It says they take so many hits. Right, uh, and it's like, right, oh, right, right, right. these guys fight as berserkers if they catch up with the people that stole from them. Right. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Unfortunately, we're not playing chainmail. We're playing D&D. &D. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, well, can I look at this map to the Snap of Withering? Because that sounds yeah. like some hefty treasure. That's going to get me a few gold pieces. You know, Rubies. like, my my elf husband took everything in the divorce, so I've got to build back up my, uh, <laughs> my stocks. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's like it doesn't say next to the treasure where it is. Maybe oh, okay. it does. Maybe in the the notes later, it's like here is where the treasure is. If you find the map later, maybe it's not even in the temple. Maybe it's just in a random location. Just in a random location. Of the temple. Yeah, it's possible. Who fucking knows? <laughs> okay, I'll probably abandon that if it's not even going to tell me where it is. I mean, you can, it's not. It's not like it's heavy. And even if it was, you have a girdle of frost giant strength, which oh. makes you very strong. Could I, like, wrap it around my wrist so it's like a little... Like a slap bracelet? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's a girdle, but for... Because I'm already uh, wearing a cute belt, you know? It's a girdle, but for snakes. <laughs> snakes are thin. Snakes snakes sure are snakes. There is an area to the uh, east that you can see okay. where the passage is less like a natural cavern and more like it's been specifically carved. Uh, Ooh. More like actual Ooh. hallways and things. Oh, detecto! Is there a slope in there? Yes. <laughs> it goes up. Oh, wait, Detective, you can tell if there's any gems nearby. Yes. Are there any gems nearby? Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the sound of, like, pages turning. <laughs> the filing cabinet. Hold on. <laughs> yes, actually. Oh. Yes. Can you tell me what direction they're in? East, probably. Okay, well, I'll head over to that, um... That, okay. um... You swim past about 500 frogs, I guess. <laughs> it's very crowded down here. I know, right? How it's big kind of, is this Maybe fucking... that's why the frogmen don't leave. Ah, it's just frogs, you know, traffic. <laughs> There's a frog traffic jam. Oh, my God. This is fucking insane. You go through, right. <laughs> no, no, we're out of character thing. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Right, like, so I know obviously this one isn't doesn't really have plot because, you know, why think of a plot when you have frogs? Yeah. Um, but, like, is the point of this to, like, stop them from trying to destroy the world and kill all men? I don't fucking know. Oh. There's no point to this. <laughs> is there, like, a guy I should be, like, oh, I should probably kill you? There's a leader. Okay. Okay. He doesn't give you any advice on what to do with him. <laughs> You know what? I'm just. You know what? I'm just gonna aim for some treasure, okay, okay. and if I make it out of my life, I'll be fucking happy. Well, I've pass, only died once so far. You pass by a room marked twenty, but there's okay. nothing in the notes for what room twenty has in it. Oh, okay, okay. It just goes up to eighteen. Oh, what happened to nineteen? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle this. This is fucking insane. So you get to room eighteen. Okay. There's twelve second level fighters in it. I don't want to go in there then. They're all just sort oh, of. Oh wait. Detect out. Are there any gems in there? Yes. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Let me just check. Oh. 15 gems. Ooh. The guys are all... They're wearing armor. Okay. They've got a chain and they have shields. Okay. Uh, they all have bows. Okay. And they fold their arms and they look at each other. Yeah. And then they're like, we should do some sparring. And mom's like, yeah. Mm. And they begin... Oh. Oh, clicking their fingers. Yeah, and they just click their fingers at each other. Okay. This goes on for six minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to... Is the door open? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sneak in. Okay. And I'm going to use my pole to trip one of them over. Right. And so it's like a distraction because I'm like, oh, why did you trip me over? And then they'll start fighting amongst themselves. Okay, let me see if they do that. Ah! Oh, why did you trip me over? No one was stood near you. How did I fall then? Perhaps it's haunted in here. And then one of them's like, quick! Uh... If we're being attacked, we need to take our special pills. And they're all like, yeah, we should. And what? they all press down on a tooth. Oh, no. Uh, and they all turn to dust. Oh, that's not what I had intended. That's not in the book. Okay, well, I guess. <laughs> uh, a ring rolls towards you from one of them. Oh, you wink. Can the I look ring? around for the gems? Mm. I'm not going to put it on Okay. until I know what it is. There's 15 gems. Okay, just on the floor. Yeah, you have a look. You, what, what are you looking for? You're looking for secret secrets? For gems. Okay, uh, I guess also for traps. Okay, that was a 20. You find uh, beneath the cook fire, there's a loose slab in the floor. Okay, where okay. Underneath, in a niche, is where the bulk of the treasure is kept. Ooh! You find 3,000 silver pieces, <gasps> 7,000 oh gold pieces. Oh my god. Uh, 15 gems. They Ooh. are emeralds. Ooh! And 12 pieces of one to 6,000 gold piece value each jewellery. Ooh! Uh, they're each worth 3,000 gold. Dum, 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 dum. And they're all not jewellery. They're diamond-encrusted yo-yos. Oh. Can I yo-yo one? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. They, Roll a d20. Do they yo-yo well? Oh, that was an eight. It's so encrusted with gems that uh, it doesn't really... The string won't even yeah, un unwind. Yeah, it's just a bit, yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. So this is quite a haul. Yeah, it's got a bit of a... There's another door on the other side. I'm taking liberties now, you guys. I'm taking <laughs> some fucking liberties. <laughs> um, okay, I think with... Because this was just a random room she's gone in. Yep. So I think Madge is like, oh, let's clear this place out. Mm-hmm. Let's go for the other door. Your sword is like, there's a slope on the other side. Okay. Mm, that sounds like a trap then. Do you want to open the door? Mm, can I look? Is there a keyhole I can look through? Uh, yeah, you look through the keyhole. It's a corridor with a slight incline. Oh, okay. I figured like a maybe, slope maybe is maybe ahead. like a, a naughty like... No, not, oh, not, it's not out. like a naughty slope, no. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> no, you like step out and there isn't actually any floor and then you fall down because it's actually a very steep slope that you just immediately roll <laughs> into and then die at the bottom. You open the door? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you open the door. A uh, trap door? No. Um, it's just a <laughs> corridor, which seems to be leading out. Is it sloping up or down? It's sloping upwards. Okay, well, that's a good sign. That means maybe I will be out of the pit. There are two rooms on either side. I've got a map. Oh, can I can I use Detector's clair- clair- audience to, see, to listen in on the rooms? Yeah, yeah, of course. You point the sword in one direction. Okay. Sort of like dowsing rod. <laughs> and you can hear through the clair- audience hiss, hiss. His and and also his 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 some snakes I guess then yes it sounds like snakes to me <laughs> was that detector or was that yes. someone in the room no it's detector <laughs> sounds like some big snakes giant snakes in fact okay well we'll avoid oh, two of them are there any gems in there or is it just snakes it's snakes only okay we'll avoid Wait, that room you oh. also hear squeak squeak oh is there a mouse uh. Oh, squeak, squeak. Oh, a giant mouse. Yeah. Um, Are the snakes eating the giant mouse? His, his, chomp. Okay, okay. okay oh, no, room. I'm a troll. What the fuck? Ah, I'm being eaten by giant snakes, but they don't have fire, so I can't die. Oh, that sounds unpleasant. Someone should De- rescue that guy. Detector's like, I don't want to listen to this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'll point Detector at the other door on the opposite side. Okay. Um, you realise the that the door... You detected it being an elf, mm. but it's actually a hidden door Ooh. built into the thing of the rocks. <laughs> and you hear a voice go, um, so, um, it's a bit shit down here, isn't it? <laughs> when are we, um, when are we going to leave and kill all the frog guys again? Listen, I've told you, Tuesday, we got to wait a little bit. I, I guess. All right, fine, fine. What day is it today? Wednesday. So like next Tuesday. Mm. Okay, are there any gems in there? No. Oh, okay. Um, like part of me was like, oh, I should, that sounds like something plot relevant and interesting, but also imagine just like, well, there's no gems, so why would I even bother? They're not going to do anything until Tuesday. Wait, are they just going to kill the frogs? Oh, shit, I lied to you. Okay. Yes, there are 13 gems <gasps> in there. Oh, well, now I have to go in. They're base 50 gems. I don't know what that means, though. I don't know what that means either, but I'm going to find out. You just open the door? Uh, No, I'll I'll sneak it open a little bit, like it's like, you know, like, because okay. they're quite old. Like the secret, the secret door would door. open in the breeze. Yeah. <laughs> the underground breeze. Um, okay, no, I'll slam it open then. Okay. Sunk. But I won't go through yet. I'll wait and see if they run out to see what's happened. Okay, you look inside. You can see it looks like it used to be four cells. Mm-hmm. And there are two Medusa in there. Mm-hmm. They're just sort of chatting. One of them's older. One of them's a bit younger. And kind of looks like one of them is the grandmother of the other. Okay, okay. Uh, the older one is the grandmother of the younger one, just to specify. Oh, in case I just got Just in confused. case you were confused. They're dressed fashionably also. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And they look at the door, and the grandma, Grand Medusa, is like, Ah, did you do that? And the young Medusa's like, No. You think it's a frog? <laughs> like a frog, kind of? Oh, it sounds like a frog. <laughs> Should I turn it to stone? Well, I, I can't really see it. Hello? Rabbit. Rabbit. It's an invisible frog, shit. Shut that door. Yeah, I'm just gonna... And she just comes up so, to the door. So, with me being invisible, yep. does that mean I still probably shouldn't look at the Medusa? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get turned to stone. That's fair. So, I guess I'll go in, like, with my hand covering my eyes. I think... Shall we quickly look up Medusa? Let's quickly look. It makes more sense that they're Medusa because then that's why they want to kill all the frog guys because they're probably like not having a great time here. Snakes versus frogs. Classic. Snakes versus frogs. Snakes eat the frogs and the snakes go home. Snakes eat the That's frogs why there were snakes, the snakes in the other room mm. because Medusa and snakes mm. go well together like 
Medusa and snaky snakes live in perfect harmonics. <laughs> Medusa, a human type monster with the lower body of a snake, a human torso and head, oh. with tresses which are asps. It is able to turn those who look at its eyes to stone, while the bite of the snakes which cover its head is deadly. Poison. As it is intelligent, it will cleverly attempt to beguile victims into looking at it. Eleven is also subject to the effects of its reflected glance, so it's your saving throws. I should have bought that mirror. No! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, I'm still invisible, so yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak into the room and just not look at their faces. Okay. Just look at your feet. Just look at my feet. I'm looking for, for these gems. Uh... Yeah, the gems are just on the floor, apparently. They're just oh. scattered around. You're just going to go and pick them up like Pac-Man. Yeah, I guess. Okay, just, I mean, just... I'll do it quietly. Okay. Um, right, I'll do the first one and see if anyone notices. Nobody seems to notice. Okay. You do notice as well on the uh, the old Medusa. There the are Grand th- Medusa. The Grand Medusa, yeah. There's a scroll of three spells. What, on her? Yeah, she got it like tucked into oh, her. Oh, no, I'm, uh, not, got I'm not that pack. bold. I'm not that bold. Okay. I'll okay. save my gems. Okay. Yeah, you pick some up. Are you leaving before? She's like going up to the door to shut the door. Yeah, I'll try and be. Dash out the yeah. Floor. Okay. Yeah, back into the hallway. Nice. And nice. You pass nice, the room nice. with the giant snakes in. Yeah, I, I'll not go in that room. Okay. You're heading back up then. Okay. Okay. Is this the whole fucking thing? This is the first. I'm going back to the first level of the dungeon now. So you come back up and you find yourself in a barracks. Okay. I don't like how many soldiers are here. They're supposed to be a religious order, not a military religious order. Oh wait a minute. Oh, oh. You, yeah, sorry. So before you get to the way up, you go through okay, room okay. number one, and the chief of the Keepers of the Frogs lives here. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. He's a ninth level magic user. Oh, dear. And you can see him, and he's polishing a magic ring. There are six at- assistants around him as well, and they're all just sort of like, just chilling out, drinking milkshakes. Ooh, okay. Just having a nice time. I want a milkshake. Um, you look closely at the milkshakes, and they're actually like frog spawn. Ooh milkshakes okay i don't want a milkshake nasty. anymore and the keeper like gets his milkshake and he's like i enjoy drinking these because i ate those bloody frogs this will teach him and all the others are like yeah this will teach him <laughs> yeah, no. these, these guys all deserve to be killed by medusa <laughs> <laughs> okay that that's gonna happen soon apparently <laughs> is there any uh detecto are there any gems nearby? there are seven beds three desks Eight what? chests with garments. And also, there's a giant stone frog on a pedestal in the center. I'll kick it. Okay. <laughs> no. A no. secret <laughs> compartment opens. Ooh! Inside is 16,000 gold. <gasps> oh my god! 13,000 gold pieces worth Your of instincts. gems. And uh, 14 pieces of very fancy jewelry. The chief is like, hold on a minute. What just happened there? And he runs. And I'll you've just finished. Ball. You're going to poke him with your paw? Yeah. He falls. I'm going to roll. Uh, his head lands in the drawer, and what? then the drawer shuts, and his head com- <gasps> comes off. Oh his no! That's just um, at six points of damage. He's dead. Holy shit! Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> Sorry, you killed him. I killed him. And his ring oh, my falls greed. off. Oh, is it? Oh, I have another ring that I didn't put on that I stole. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mm, it feels evil though. Okay. I don't want to put on these rings in case. Do you I know, like... I mean, this guy's ring falls off as well because yeah, his, gonna... his hand got caught in it. And yeah, that I'm... flies out and you catch it. I'm going to catch it okay. and put it in my pocket. You put it in a... Are you putting it on or putting no, it in your pocket? No, I don't know what it does. I will identify it for you. Yeah, can you identify I'll detect this... the magic. Oh, wait, no, actually, can we get out of this room first? Because yeah, the other ones are like, oh, no. Be like... And then they, they like, one of them's like sipping his milkshake and he sprays it and he's like, oh. And they all go and get new milkshakes. Oh, they're not from, bothered like, that their leader just died. They're like, well, we've got to vote on who's the new leader then. The other one's like, oh, I hate frogs. A frog did this. Rabbit. I sure hope Medusa's done. Oh no! The frog Rabbit. ghost has come to get its vengeance on us. Rabbit. Rabbit. I'm freaking out. And they all turn to dust. <laughs> no! Yeah, I got him. <laughs> uh, Detector's like, nah, this ring is a ring of animal control. Okay. You can control frogs with it. Ooh! Yeah. That will be useful. Cool. The other ring is a ring of frog protection. Ooh. It protects you from frogs for six rounds. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm going to put them both on. Okay. I'm not going to activate now them. Now you can control frogs. Nice. You feel a connection with the frogs underneath the temple. A ribbit? And uh, you get the feeling that if you wanted to, you could summon the frogs. <gasps> you head up to the second level of the dungeon. Oh, where there's barracks and lots of soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, yeah, so you come out and there's like a barracks kind of room on either side and you sort of come in. There's just 150 guards here all sat about. I'm going to summon my legion of frogs. Okay. The guards have been sort of sat about. They're like, what is it that we just sit in this room? It doesn't seem very realistic, does it? The other one's like, oh, you don't ask questions. And there's a rumbling. And it's like, what? What's that noise? <laughs> and there's a the sound of like someone invisible running past them. And they both look down the hallway. And suddenly it's just like, ribbit. And like just a tide of giant frog just sweeps out <laughs> yes! of the room. And they're like, oh no. You and they, get, pretty. <laughs> they get swept away in the tide of frog. Man-eating frogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You're sort of heading up there, and I guess like around the outside and everything. There's all these different rooms. Oh, can I go to Pool of the Frog? Uh, that's where you just landed. Oh, okay. Uh, so the Pool of the Frog is like down below. Ah, uh, you know, see, 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 You run through the different things, and you're pretty much just sprinting through the place. You know, every hour, one to four officers may arrive or leave. In which case, I will clonk them with my pole. The guard has trebled it in times of emergency. It does seem like an emergency. Mm. You know when the frogs are attacking. Uh, you do stop in the officer's lounge. Okay. As you sort oh, of like, there's a couple of, of different doors. You have a bit of a sit, you have a look around. Can you uh, just roll a d20 for me? A seven. Uh, okay, with a seven, you find one of 16 silver chains. You don't find them all. Okay. You got 150 gold value. I guess, um, I guess it's quite it's hard. It's magic. Oh. It's a magic silver chain. Okay, what does it do? Uh, it lets you pass through many of the traps located in the temple. Oh. So the traps won't go off. Nice. And then you're like, I should probably get moving because the frog tide is coming. I mean, the frogs are under my control. That's true. They would stop in front of me. That's fair, yeah. I was thinking you'd had to like be like run in ahead of the frogs. I mean, I'm directing them, so I probably should stay ahead of them. <laughs> but if they saw me, they would be like, oh, our commander has stopped, so we must stop. Mm. And they like skid to my feet and I'd be like, well done, my slimy, slimy, slimy friend. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you know, you, you run through like a bunch of different fucking things. <laughs> um, you go through another room. It's got three Medusa in it. I won't. I, I won't. I'll tell the frogs not to kill the Medusa. Okay. And I'll just. I'll call out just like, if you don't move, the frogs won't hurt you. Thank you, disembodied frog voice. Ribbit. Uh, yeah. Ribbit. <laughs> Three Medusa were imprisoned here, but have, in the course of the last hundred years, dug their way into this room and enlarged their area of influence and operation. Since they're in all respects trapped here, they wait to get out and attack the Brothers of the Frog, whom they hate. There are other Medusa on the second level who also share the same opinion of the Brothers. You met those earlier. Oh, are they, are they chained or anything? No. Oh, right, okay. They're just there. I guess I'll, I'll bust down the door so they can get out. Yeah. There is a slight possibility that if the intruders are not in league with the temple, that the Medusa will attempt a joint venture against the Brothers. Oh, they can tag along if they want. <laughs> So yeah, the Pool of the Frog is a downward sloping area, okay. very slippery, oh. leading to the next level down. I kind of want to go up. So. Entrance into the area marked down will cause the party to slide down the ramp to the next level. Only persons of an 18 dexterity having a 50% chance of not falling. Oh dear, my dexterity is not 18. Yeah, I know, right? So you'll just oh, be yeah. straight back down again. Yeah, let's avoid that then. Okay. What is my dex? My dexterity is 12. Not bad. So actually, I mean, it is my best start. Mm, I should have let you... We should have... Because I was like, oh, maybe we'd look at Greyhawk stuff, and that had the thief in it. And you know what? I'm having fun as a magic yeah, we're, we're, user. Yeah. I've, I've cast one spell. Yeah, that's a good point. I just kind of bonk people on the head more than anything. That's fair. I've only died once, so I feel like I should be... Uh... We've we've gone off the rails a little bit, haven't I we, to be fair? I think so, yeah. I do have, I do have an en ending mind. Okay. Maybe. So you sprint through another room. Well, another two rooms. Rooms two and five here. Mm-hmm. As you come back up a slope and you end up back in the main temple sort oh, of okay, thing. Oh, okay, okay. Or is that higher up? It doesn't matter. We, we, you know, you got a bit turned around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find what look like big machines. Oh, okay. And you're having a look and you see like some sand is being poured into the top of the machine by like a, a brother of the temple. Okay, okay. And then what comes out are like shiny glass diamond beads. Oh um, no, it's all the treasure fake. And then the glass diamond beads are melted down and turned into cups and glassware. Oh, this is where they things. make their goods. It's manufacturing, ah. but they've got machines doing it. Imagine, Ooh. you've never seen... What is this strange what magic? What is this strange magic? These machines having the ability to take worthless material and transform it into valuable goods. Oh, I'll jump in there then. What? 
<laughs> that was me, Sammy. You die. <laughs> um, so only those directly involved in manufacturing are admitted here. Each is run by an acolyte. Um, oh. So there are these big machines. Oh, they're going to have a bad that's time weird. when the frogs get in here. That's probably going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. I want the I want the frogs to wreck it. Um, I'm going to tell the frogs to destroy. Tell the, the frogs machines. to wreck the machines. Okay, okay. I'm like this magic is dangerous and should be destroyed. <laughs> So you come back into the main bit of the temple and you can see the uh, the commander of the guard seems to be talking with uh, just like a kind of weird looking guy. He's got like a yellow jumper on with like a stitched shiny logo on like the breast. Okay. He's got black pants, got like blonde hair. And he sort of looks and uh, the commander's like, uh, is the commander uh, the same girl from before? Is that Was that just like a random uh, guard? Yeah, no, that's the commander. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. And she's like, Oh, commander, something's going on in the temple. The frogs are revolting. And the high priest is like, well, I, I already knew the, the frogs because of the slam and stuff. As long as they don't get my cool machines. Oh, no. So this is the guy in like, oh, shit. the leader of the brotherhood. And he's the leader and he's the, the, the boss and he's the king and stuff. And he's the high priest. And he sees that and he sort of looks and he's like, someone's there, invisible. I can see it. I'm going to dunk him on the head of my, my pole. You run up, he runs away. Oh, okay. And he runs back to the a back room in the thing, and he seems to vanish through an invisible door Ooh. kind of thing to a side room. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the Not captain. so fast, invisible person. And she swings her axe. I'm going to dodge you're, it. Yeah, you're, you're nowhere near. Um, what the fuck? I'm gonna oh, like, God, that's a lot of frogs. Uh, I'll tell the frogs not to hurt her. Okay, she's just surrounded um, by a wall of frogs. Yeah, and I'm okay. going to be like, frogs, take her to the finest eatery. And we'll have dinner later. Okay. So, she's like, no! And she's dragged out of the temple. <laughs> I'm going to go after the um, the brotherhood guy. There is a rumbling. Ooh. It's like there's an earthquake. Okay. You like nearly fall off your feet. There is uh, the tapestry that shows the doom of mankind on it. <laughs> falls away. And you can see a large glass window. Ooh. The largest in the world. Ooh. And you can see the view oh, out shit. of the head of the frog. What the fuck? And Is suddenly fucking... it begins to move. And it leaps <gasps> into the air. And then lands somewhere else. And it seems like the guy, the high priest, has activated the defences. And he always said that the temple itself would defend them in their hour of need. It's not defending them, it's just so running the fuck away. Air and you're like, look, and there's the door at the back and loads of frogs are falling out of it and all the frogs oh, no. are... So it's jumping in the air and there's frogs falling out the oh, back. Oh no, um, poor froggy friends. They'll be fine, they, they're used to jumping. I know, but they should come they'll... back and support me. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to try and follow the guy and find okay. him and stop okay. him because I'm... Just... You run to the back, there's the secret door there, you can detect it being an elf. You wrench it open and out steps... Stephen the Rock, the high priest of the Temple of the Frog, and he's wearing his power armor. What? The eyes light up. You hear a mechanical what? whirring what? sound, and he lifts up his hand, and a phaser blast no! shoots at you. Is he a fucking Iron Man? Traditionally, the role of the high priest of the Temple of the Brothers of the Frog of the Keepers of the Frog was voted to the most influential member of the inner circle of the brothers. It is now held by a usurper, Stephen the Rock. Who the fuck is Stephen the Rock? This fellow is not from the world of Blackmore at <gasps> all. What? But rather he is an intelligent humanoid from another world slash dimension. What? What? How did he get here? Originally, he and his compatriots were sent to the area to police it against incursions of similar beings for it was discovered that a dimensional nexus point no! existed in this area that allowed such possibilities. He assumed leadership of the temple in order to have a base of power, and now he seeks glory and personal gain with as little personal risk as possible. Wait, he's the, um, an Oath of Watcher paladin? Defending against... <laughs> Defending against <laughs> rifts and things. Beings. But he's just gone wrong. He has gone a bit wrong. What the fuck? Um... Oh, here's your very traditional fantasy with frogs everywhere. Also, interdimensional beings. Also, he's got a power armor suit. When the team was intact, this self-seeking would have been checked. But with the death of his other team, uh, How you know, did they die? most did restraints are gone. Once per year, the high priest must report to a hovering satellite station, giving <gasps> details about what has transpired below, turning over any powerful <gasps> artifacts taken during the previous time period, and failure to turn over sufficient loot will certainly result in his recall slash trial slash extinction. 
as will in fact the discovery of just what's been going on below. So far, the High Priest has managed to cloak his activities, as well as the death of the other team members, so as to avoid such unpleasantness. Thus, this being is frantically attempting to make his power such as he's able to defy any attempt at recall should his duplicity be discovered. He possesses a complete set of battle armor, a mobile medical kit, and a communications module. He's modified the temple so that there's a complete set of alarms to warn of intruders. He's genetically modified the killer frogs to breed frogmen and constructed the control ring to maintain his control ability over them. What the frog? The frog is illusory. The frog temple jumping into the air and seeming to land. It's not that that happens. It's that it lifts up and then teleports out of space and time and then reappears in the frog. So it just looks like it's jumping around. What and he's actually a frog? fucking spaceman. What the fuck? He's a spaceman? So. What the fuck? The High Priest, Stephen the Rock, comes from a sci-fi version of his world. He's got a plus three flying battle armor, and he's got 18 strength. He's got all these wait, fucking powers and things. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Sorry, he comes from a sci-fi version of his world. Of our world. Of our world. Yeah. But he's called Stephen the Rock. <laughs> Should he not have been called Stephen the Computer Microchip Man? Dave Arneson's campaign started as miniature battles with the players taking all the sides, hero and villain. In 1973... He collaborated with Stephen Rockford to create a nefarious persona for the game. Oh, these middle-aged men just calling themselves and putting themselves in the game. You just gotta rearrange your just name. Gotta we rearrange your name. Dave approached me to invent an evil character that would be different from the norm in this world. Ergo, I thought and settled on a character that was not of this world of Blackmore. My inspiration was from an old episode of the original Star Trek TV series. I told Dave Arneson, and he was delighted. So he's, he's, he's made a character based on a, a Star Trek and he's been given like a fucking super, super villain lair complete with like the pit that drops you into the pool oh full of things God. for disposing of heroes. Oh my God. He's a James Bond villain in space. My character was a soldier who crash landed in Blackmore with several others from a spaceship. He found a village organized around a group of monks. They and the villagers thought the stranger was a very powerful wizard. In fact, he was just a man who used a phaser and so overawed the indigenous people that he was proclaimed the high priest of the Ooh. monks of the swamp. Oh, didn't like the use of the word. Mm. Like that's, that's, that's bad space It's vibes. got weird vibes, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he set about doing a theocracy based on the worship of frogs, which uh, Dave Onison's from the era Jeff Berry thinks was inspired by Lovecraft. Oh, of course. You just had to have frogmen and other servants of the of old ones infesting course. the swamp. It gave the players something to do when they weren't exploring the dungeons. But yeah, rumours of a secret society of the swamp led people from Blackmore to go there and take a look. Rockford would be uh, playing his cool villain and being like, Aha, I have my power armour. That's probably not how he talked. Holy shit. So he's a spaceman. How could a party of ex adventurers be expected to assault a temple with 20 men at its gate tower, 30 at its main gate, 10 per corner tower, and a thousand guards in reserve in case of trouble? The trick is to go and fall into the trap and then take over all the frogs and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, like I did. I'm better than you all. But it would become a war game rather than a dungeon crawl. Right. Holy shit. This is absolutely fucking wild. <laughs> so Stephen the Rock, he's got his power armor on and he like charges towards you into the main thing. Uh, he grabs hold of you. Oh, can I cast a spell, please? Cast a spell. I'm going to cast Charm Person. <laughs> Let me just check. <laughs> Provides complete protection against all energy type weapons, including fireballs, lightning, cold, and against charming, oh, hypnosis, draining life levels, polymorph, decay, etc. <gasps> With sleep count. That's a charm, yeah. Oh, or, wait. Mm, I mean, it doesn't say anything that versus it sleep. It doesn't say. It doesn't say that sleep is a charm effect. They didn't specify that. <laughs> and also, sleep has no, uh, no save. Let me just check how many dies of hit points he has. <laughs> He's apparently an ordinary man outside of the, uh, oh, the suit. Yes! He falls the fuck to sleep. So he pulls out a sword and lightning crackles from it. Mm -hmm. And it's like a sci-fi fucking sword. And then he falls asleep, yeah. Uh, um, while he is asleep, I'm going to take the armor off him. Okay, okay. Kick the sword away. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm probably going to tie him up. Okay. With, my With your rope. rope. Oh. oh, wait, no. I'm going to go in. Are we, are we still floating or teleporting around? Are we still? 
is no, the frogs no, the frogs still? just sort of yeah, it's the frogs out landing outside the city. Okay, in, oh that's in the fine, swamp that's fine. Yeah, I'll I'll just I'll just tie him up. I'll get rid of his power armor. Yep. Um, I'll put that in a bag for later. Okay. Uh, detective, are there any gems in here while we're you know killing time until he wakes up? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. I'll just wait for him to wake up then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen the Rock. I'm Hello. awake now. <laughs> I imagine. What do you do with my power armor? I've put it in a bag. I've stolen it. Can I have you. it back? No. Please? No. <laughs> you did just try and kill me. No, I didn't. I was going to give you a hug. Uh, with a sword? A lightning sword? I don't have the best social skills. Okay, well, um, I'm from outer space. I gathered that you weren't ordinary, and I'm quite intrigued, so I'm going to cast Charm Person on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has to make a saving throw, okay. actually, yes. Spell or magic staff. He's a normal man, so he has to beat a 17. Mm -hmm. That's a natural Fuck. 20. Fuck you! Mm, okay. Do you want to try again? No, I've only got one spell. Oh. I suppose I've only got one... Is it like, can I only cast the spells I know once, or do I have... Is it like the slot system? No, it vanishes from your mind after you've... Uh... Okay, no, I've only got magic missile left then. No, you know what? I'm going to leave him tied up. And I'm like, okay, well, if you won't work for me, then I'll just let the frogs eat you. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, uh, let me just check. Oh, it was only a five. I'm charmed now. <laughs> I don't believe you. No, I, it'll be cool. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I, um, maybe, maybe I'll change my mind after a nice dinner with my new captain friend. You forced her to go to a restaurant with you with a load of frogs? Really? She's surrounded by frogs. You step over them. Wait, were the frogs normal sized? <laughs> My oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined that there were so many. <laughs> oh, they combine together to form a larger and more powerful frog. Yeah. I, I mean, see. if he's not gonna, if he's, if he's gonna, he's clearly a danger to fucking everyone. He's he is clearly as well. insane. Well, what spells have you got left? Magic missile. Literally, that's it. That I'd deal with him, wouldn't it? I don't want to just kill him though. I th I feel like kill you should him. be left. You know what? I might. You should kill him. I might throw him into the frog pit. Okay. And then, you drag him over. Yeah. You go to the uh, the the frog pit. You like poke it. It doesn't open because you got that special chain. You take the chain take off. The you chain poke off. it, and you chuck him down. There's a splash. There's no frogs left. He'll probably drown then because I've tied him up. But there are some frog men. Oh, maybe the frog men will get. And um, the frog men don't seem to take much notice. They don't okay. really care about things. But then you look down the pit and you can see a medusa Ooh. on the shore, and she throws a brick at him. Nice. <laughs> Get him, girl! <laughs> oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. What a wild ride. Okay. The Temple of the Frog has moved slightly. The <laughs> city of my, the Temple of the Frog out. is kind of like, oh, it's going to be a bit more of a trek to, you know, you get your raft out, you get in the swamp from onto your raft, <laughs> use, my pole. use your pole, and you sail away into the... I'm going back in town. Town. I'm fucking hungry after all that. Oh, you're going to get some rock bread? No. No, I would some Stephen the Rock bread. A nice pub. We're gonna some have a Stephen nice the drink. Rock bread. And was that a hint? What? Rock no, bread. no, there, no. There were no hints apart from what I was saying about the the weird pulp origins. Of <laughs> oh my god! You head back into town. Yeah, that's our episode. Yeah. I mean, we're done there. <laughs> I go to a pub, I have a nice meal, a nice drink. I don't know if the captain would actually want to hang out with me after No, that. she wouldn't. Why would she? I'm just, I'm a, I'm a cool, you know, I breezed in. I've like, you know, I've got control of frogs. You like frogs? Yeah? She does like frogs. Yeah, look, you know, I got, you can hang out with frogs as much as you like when you're around me. This this is great. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> That's the end. What a weird fucking. <laughs> the thing about Temple of the Frog is there's a lot to it. And it was kind of just like. Hey Dave, can you send us the Blackmore thing? And Dave's like, oh, I've been doing this frog game. Do you want? Do you want this? Here's what I had prepped for it. And they were like, Yeah, fuck it, we'll publish that. And that was kind of it. Like, there's all stuff about the different rings and what the different rings do. We glossed over quite a bit of it. Just to... why were the rings like an important part? Yeah, they were how like they controlled the frogs and oh, right. they granted access to different areas of it in oh. like kind of a sci-fi. Oh, um, I see. Yes, like you've got a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you swipe. Yep. Oh my god. What a weird... I know obviously it's not their first like adventure adventure because there was a Tomb of Horrors version, but what a weird choice for their first published yeah, adventure. Yeah. Like literally this like fantasy sci-fi. There's some stuff afterwards that's about underwater things and then hiring a sage uh, and then different diseases you can get. Like 
how, you know, what dysentery does. Oh, can you get frog disease? Uh, there's malaria, I guess. Advanced leprosy. Spotted fever. Oh and God. crud. Oh. Which is like getting heat rash or athlete's foot. <laughs> Stupid. But yeah, what what a strange choice for your first published adventure. A bit it's of a like, weird one, yeah. Like, what was... Were they just waiting for a sign from the frog god to go attack all the people? Were they waiting for the, the earth to be covered in swamp Well, no, it was Stephen the Rock who was trying to get his army of frogs big enough that if his boss from Starfleet oh, came, right. then the boss would be like, oh, too many frogs to do with you. Weird thing. <laughs> I... <laughs> He's from space, Sammy. Space. Oh, I suppose it doesn't have to make sense. He's from space. He's from space. Nothing in space makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh my god, I'm literally floored by that. What a weird <laughs> fucking twist. Like, I guess that's interesting, but it's just kind of like, why? What? That kind of makes sense as to why, like, everyone's motivations were all weird because they were from space. They were from space. They didn't need to have. I mean, this motivation. wasn't the best running of it. I think. Rather than a one-shot, Temple of the Frog would work better for a longer campaign kind of thing. And there's too many frogs for that. It's difficult to run from books, even in like 5th edition, which mm. I'm very familiar with. Uh, this was a nightmare. So uh, it did go off the rails and I stopped paying attention to what actually things were. <laughs> um, I found actually playing it quite strange. Like um, just rolling a d20 and not... And not adding any little numbers on. Mm. I want, you know, I, I like I like rolling perception. I'm normally good at perception. <laughs> I like rolling investigation. But it was also kind of cool being like, oh, I'll just donk him on the head with my pole. And it was like, well, that's the same as yeah. using a spell, really. Uh, there was a room with an ochre jelly in it. Oh, God, I'm glad we didn't uh, go in there. It then. cleans up the section of the dungeon when no other creatures are about. That was at the very bottom. Um, there were some trolls that preyed upon wandering rats and snakes. Um, like I said, there were the rooms with the keepers of the frogs. These, this was from the bottom. The dungeon level above that was a lot of. Oh, this is where the offices are. This is oh, the right, company okay. office with uh, <laughs> the company office. Yeah, there's uh, specifically it's talking about how there's the privates club, uh, which always has ten to sixty soldiers present. What, um, why did he have so many show? Like pink. Why? Oh, I just. I, there were 10 to 60 soldiers present. It had a club fund there as well, with 6,000 silver, silver pieces and a levitation potion behind a picture of a giant frog. God. And there were also six 100 gold value gems hidden in a wall slot behind a picture of a nude young lady, of which there are six pictures of that in the room. Oh, wow. Fun room. The sergeants know about the treasure and don't care. Why do they not care? I don't know. It just they says could, that. They could steal that and like go live in a... A world that isn't fucking obsessed with frogs. Like, why have an army of frogs when you've got an army of people? Why make frogmen when you have an army of fucking people? Uh, there's a room, room three in the uh, in the dungeon with the officers' stuff. It's the officers' lounge, but it's also got nine mounted gargoyles, and they can be animated inside. and brought to life. Yeah, in gargoyles inside. And they'll lurk about after their duty is performed until a priest comes down to put them back into their imprisonment. So they sort of just kill people and then just sort of loiter for a bit. Why are there gargoyles inside? They're just, you know. Just hanging out. The word club fund comes up a lot. Like I said, there was the Medusas. There was some secret passages. A uh, room with gambling in it. Uh, These guys are fucking wild. The, oh, sorry. The pool of the frog These we talked fellows. about. These, These fellows. These fellows are wild. The south of the stairway is a balcony that is the mouth of the frog. It gives a breathtaking view of the temple gardens and is enclosed by an unframed glass window. The largest in the world. Oh! So we talked about that. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That window could be raised by the high priest so that rocks could land. Not not like Stephen the Rocks, but the birds. Oh! <laughs> That's so me a second. Yeah, special manufacturing bits. Traders for selling junk and stuff. Yeah, it just... I don't bloody know. <laughs> what a wild fucking ride. <laughs> I think Majin got out of it quite well, actually. Yeah, Majin I know, did right? a lot better than I thought she would. I'm an incredibly lenient DM. Yeah. I think the ring of animal control doesn't necessarily let you summon every frog <laughs> either. But it was it was more cinematic that it way. It was, yeah. And that's what you want from your D&D game. Room one. This is the robing room, where the robes are. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Mm. Yeah, there were a lot of bits where, like, only the high priest's ring will give access uh, oh, to the okay. secret door. Okay. You know? Did we ignore those? More or less, yeah. <laughs> I've um, got some rings. <laughs> but yeah, 
I had fun anyway. And thank you for listening to a weird episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find some more um, uh, dungeons for Magin to yeah, yeah, to yeah, fuck for about a in. Yeah, see if she can survive in other editions. <laughs> It'll be fun. But yeah, thank you for listening. If yeah, thank you, you so like much for your show, listening. give it a review. That's a good one if you want, or follow us on Twitter, or follow us on Instagram. You can do those things. We'll put the maps from Temple of the Frog on Instagram as well, so you can have a look at those if you want. If you've ever like delved into the Temple of the Frog and, and done it properly, <laughs> and done it properly, maybe email in about your experiences because. Yeah, this has been wild. Did Rose. everyone freak out at the twist? Uh, so follow us on all the things and uh, <laughs> email thank you for us listening. At oh, email at gmail.com. Yeah. Do, do, do stuff. Retweet our giveaway retweet on Twitter. Our giveaway, yeah. Go to Third Space Gaming and use Roll History at checkout for 10% off. Yep, that one. Uh, and then we need an outro. Live life beautifully. But Sammy, you did the, the intro, DM. which means you're the DM of the outro. I have no idea <laughs> Now you're in the temple. Now I'll do a quick Temple of the Frog with my character, Brongle. Okay. No, I don't like that. Okay. What? (laughs) Is that the fucking bit? (laughs) (laughs) Was that the bit? I thought you were going to say something. I was waiting for you to decide on a name. To decide a character. The character's name is Vesper. Okay. And they're a Shinigami. Shinigami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's a new class. What? Yeah, go on. Go on. Me. So they're in the frog they're in the frog place. Okay, you're in the frog pool and you you swim up to the island. Okay. And there's a bunch of buff frog men. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. What do you do? Oh, do, do I not have to roll history like that? Oh, well, you <laughs> roll- oh okay. I mean, I know there were no history checks in the original, <laughs> but <laughs> why am I rolling history, Sammy? Come on. <laughs> Okay, okay, think. okay, okay. Think. You have been transported okay. into a horrible froggy dungeon and you don't know where you are. So oh. roll history to see if you remember anything about frog temples. That's an 18. Okay, 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 okay. You have read about the Temple of the Frog and its weird interdimensional leader and how it was destroyed by a very weird elf lady oh yeah yeah. you just really love treasure it's in a slightly different location to where i thought it would be yeah but Um, only by a few hundred feet and you come in and you're like oh yeah and i can oh i'll i'll kill all the frogs and the frogmen so just in case there's any lying around yeah yeah of course if there's any Um, lions here then that'd be really weird they don't like getting wet but you get to the the island Mm -hmm. and there's only about eight frogmen left oh no and they're just doing push-ups just they seem pretty harmless they don't really care about a big plan. They just want to, you know, work out. They just want to get jacked and, yeah. ripped and shredded and torn. Not even for any real reason, just because it makes them happy. That's fair. That's fair. I'd kill them. Oh. <laughs>